G'day YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So, you would have seen, hope if you've been following my channel for a while, you would have seen me do a demonstration on this tree, a couple of demos on it. Um, I believe I did a, I did initial starling on this very large spruce. It's a very old um, spruce. Now, and then I've repotted it into this big uh, pot, um, so it's more stable. <laughs> so, I mean, I was looking at this tree, it's recovering really well, all nice new shoots, new buds and so on. But I was never comfortable with the look of the tree. Um, as you saw with my previous spruce video where I chopped off the top trunk um, and made a small, smaller tree, semi-cascade kind of style tree. Um, while I don't want to do anything that dramatic to this tree, I just find there's some problem areas that I want to try and eliminate. It I just uh, doesn't, doesn't sit well with me at the moment with this tree when I look at it. So I'll take you through those, those, those um, small issues. Um, and I'm hoping you guys agree and um, we'll do some work on it today um, There's just a couple of things we want to look at so this tree ultimately was hopefully you can see there's a nice big tall apex here There's a smaller apex in here and there's a smaller tree in this side. So it was like a triple kind of trunk looking tree um, That tries to give you that look of a nice alpine spruce in a way But what I did is I didn't take off some branches that I thought would be critical to the tree now I can't show you the back one at the moment. This one on the on this side here, but this has got nice small small branches, thin branches, and the tree is pretty good and healthy. So I'm going to leave. I'm not actually going to touch that back one. I think I like it as it is. Um, it's got enough branching and doesn't have. To, it hasn't got excessive branching, and it's just the right amount of branching to keep. I'll probably just have to tweak the branches, position them a bit better. That's about it. Um, <coughs> this I like this apex bit up here. What I don't like is this branch in front here. Now. I dropped that branch because it's quite a big one. Dropped it down and down and tried to form a pad in the front. Now I'll try and twist this around just so you can see. I don't know if you can see, but see how forward that is. So imagine that's really forward and it's really in your eye. So that's one big problem area. I don't know. Maybe hopefully that if I turn it like that, you guys can see how forward that is. I really don't like it. So that's a problem area. Um, it's a large trunk. I do have that to fill it in, but then there's going to be a gap. So we're going to have, we're going to look at ways to what we have to do here. Um, and then I move into this side of the tree. Now, the whilst this is okay, and this is okay, this one, the wire isn't thick enough to hold that. I must have grown so much that it sounds bouncing back. So if I push, position that into there, what it does is I think it opens up this area, which looks better. However, this branch here, for some reason, I've got it going back and sitting in the back here. Um, and I've got other branches here that can fill that gap so I'm not entirely sure why I decided to do that I think it was because of this low branch down here now this low branch here goes backwards now I'll turn, I'll turn it and show you guys see what I mean so maybe you can see through here the branch goes back and then comes around and sits in here um, <clears throat> yeah probably what I don't like about it it's it's not a good I just at the moment I don't see the value of having that in there the tree now looks too full with that. If I can move this and kind of position it in here, maybe it will fix that problem there. I don't know. That's, so these are the two other ones that I'm like, oh, what do we do, what do we do? Uh, what am I gonna do with it? But it's such a big tree that I can't sit in front of it. I'm gonna actually stand back and have a look and see what suits it best. <coughs> I think first we deal with this and then we look at um, what we do here around here. And we'll play around with moving. I think I'll play around moving this branch first, see if we can position it in a way, maybe position that back, try and try and work this tree a little bit, see if we can eliminate that branch there. Um, it's a nice old branch. It's the only thing I can think of why I left it. It's a big old branch that I don't want it, didn't want to cut off. But it doesn't serve a purpose right now, even though it's filling in that gap. I'm gonna have to stand back and look to see if it really needs to be there. So um, that's the plan today. Um, and let me um, let me start off with this area. So I'm just going to take a stand, step back, and have a look at the tree. All right. So what I what I can look at what I can see right I'll take you through it. Is there, I pretty much I'm going to try and think about leaving those two for now, and I'm going to cut all this off. So.
So I've cut that much off the tree. I just didn't like it. And now it opens the tree up so much more. Yeah, that, that, that is definitely a massive improvement. I can actually always wire these guys back into here. I just have to fix, I just probably have to change the wire. Yeah, maybe do that. And they can be positioned in a bit better, better spot. I'll sort that out. Uh, the wire isn't holding, but already a huge improvement. And now you can actually see, hopefully you can see this tree now on the in the back. That's really cool. Can you see the apex on this? Looks nice. Um, maybe we'll play around with the branching. But ultimately, I think that works really well. So I might, might bring the tree down a bit more. I've got some guy wires here, so that's, been good, so that's good. I can just tweak them back down and get them down a bit further. So there's some guy wires here, so I can just tighten those. The beauty of the copper is it's so strong. It's going to deteriorate, and you can just bend it. Oh, hey. So, yeah, I'll just have to tweak around and play around with that. I have to just rewire this. I think you hopefully you can see a nice, nice apex in here. You see the tree in here. You see the trunk movement. That looks a lot better there. Heaps better. All right, now what do we do with the rest? Um, hmm. Let's play around with those. Let's play around with these branching branches now, I think. And have a little step back and have a look. I'm just going to try and push this one backwards a bit. So I've just pushed. I put this one that was on the side backwards, so because I want to try and see if I can bring this. Possibly bring that into here. So we need to re also we need to have to rewire some stuff, but that maybe that is better there. I'm just gonna have to maneuver these guys as well. Let's have a look back. Let's have a take a step back and have a look. I think that improves it. But do we need that back branch? That's the question. So what do we do? Well, let's let's cover it up. And let's work on some of these other branching. Let's cover that branch up and see if it's an improvement. Whilst I try and tweak some of these guys. Let me just grab a let me just grab a towel and I'll wrap it up and we'll see. All right, so covered that branch at the back there's a branch in here that I've kind of wired I'll have to put some bit heavier wire on there and that should sit in that gap there I've positioned some of these in a better place it needs a bit more work I'll move this around to here but now you can clearly see a tree in here you can clearly see the dominant tall tree and you can see that tree there so I think it's I've got to get rid of that branch um, and it'll just open up the tree much more, it makes it much more interesting, I think. And um, it, look, it looks like better, actually. I, have to, I think I just want to correct. Just let me change the angle a bit for you guys. I think if that's the straight, I think that's more straight on. And what do you think? I think it's a better tree, at least. I think that last bottom bit is just too much, too heavy, and there's no need for it. And I'll just work on some of the top, some of this. So this, this. This trunk, this trunk really only has foliage from about here, and I can wire this down a bit to fill in that gap a little bit. Yeah, fill in that gap. There's more branching here that we can wire down and fill in that gap. So 
I think it's got all the depth it needs. And I think it's looking to look a better tree. All right. So that's with it without it. So let me take it off. So now with with that branch. Mm. Yeah, I don't I don't see it. I don't I don't think we need it. Um yeah, I think it's gonna I'm gonna get cut that off. So I might leave it there for a gin though, part of that for a gin. Quite a bit quite a thick of it. Yeah, but you can see what I mean, it doesn't need does it's not really needed. I just kept it because it's such an old branch. And I hate to cut off old branches. But it's gotta be done. coming in now I've got some anchoring wires in so I might just might just take it off So I've eliminated two big branches today and created a much better tree, I think. Looks much, much better. Now I'm just going to go and rewire some of this tree because I think some of the wire is not heavy enough. Um, that look a much better. So you can now see, hopefully, see a nice apex up here. You can see a nice tree in here and hopefully we can start to see this hidden tree in the back there. A very unique tree, very twisted up and contorted, which is really nice. But I think it needs to be wider and fanned out a bit more. Um, have it all cleaned up a little bit. Um, work on some of those gins, maybe. Yeah, so so that's the very, what I'll do now. For the rest of the tree, I'll just start working on getting the true beginning, the placement of all the branches in place and rewiring what needs to be wired. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so I'll come back and I'll show you the finished product. Well, I'll take you maybe I'll put a bit of a time lapse on some of the work I do um, but yeah we'll we'll see what happens but hope you guys see the difference and you know sometimes you don't want to cut off branches and there's a good reason for it but sometimes it's time to cut them off so yep that's that was what we did today all right I'll come be back soon all right YouTube so I finished putting it all together and I'm hoping you've got a good angle at the tree. It looks much more nice and refined, nice and nice and even. Now, I don't know if you can see, but I left these two guys. Um, that was on that big branch that I cut off this big branch, and I just want to leave these. Even if I wired this out here, I still don't think that was going to be good. So, and I've got lots of nice foliage here, which I can just wire down into this spot, which I will do after this. But that's a very fat, thumb or some thickness branch that's about that short and only has two these two two little bits of foliage on there so I just want to make sure I showed you guys that I was going to cut those off um, and you know easily I can put these into here and these guys can grow and fill that gap so I might reduce that a little bit more I don't know if I'll put leverage in there I might I might not just needs short little ones because there's all short little ones everywhere so just needs a short little one now i hope you can see this tree now quite nice to find it still needs to fill out in this area here that's going well but now this is i've got a nice nice full apex we're starting to and i've just kept some of the back branches i'll give it a spin in a minute and this side is really looking nice as well so the pads i've tried to make them clean underneath um, as best as i can um, so it's very hard to know if that comes up well in the camera but much, it looks like a super better tree. Such a better tree. So, yeah, I think um, I think this worked really well to clean, to get rid of those couple of big branches. And it's looking good. So just give it a little spin so you can see now it's not as deep as it used to be. Remember how it was really deep? There's a big deep branch out here. Now that's all gone. The whole tree needs a bit forward, which is good. Probably could be repotted a little bit back, tilting back. Um, there's a big gin here that we'll have to deal with. Some gins here that we need to work on and clean up. So that's looking alright. Now we're showing this side. Oh, get out of the way. So you can start to see this tree here on this side. 
I'm just going to try and put it back to where it was. So I think it's a much, much better tree now. Cleaned up those branches that I didn't need. Exposed this nice area. It's actually got some nice movement. It's a bit hard in the camera to see, but the actual trunk comes forward here, then this way, then crosses this way, then goes around and comes around and creates this apex. So it looks quite interesting that. Um, that tree needs to work, but that, need, that needs another year, that side. This is, this is almost the same level as this, and that's got to catch up. So all in all, I think it's really coming along really well. We could do something with that on that side, but I'm not sure 100% what to do just yet. Um, yeah, it's a really, really interesting tree now. Much more interesting, much more unique. Um, yeah. Sometimes you got to have to wire the whole tree, though, um, to see, see what it would look like and give it some time to build up and recover and grow. And then will it, will it be a better tree? I think, I think it's a much better tree today than it was before. So... There you go guys, I think I'll leave it alone now, let it recover in its spot, and it's nice, nice buds everywhere on this tree, so that's all nice and healthy. Might just tweak some of these branches, need to be thinned out a little, but that's about it. I just wanted to cut that off, so you guys can see what I was doing. Um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed another video, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, really liking the, the interesting different apexes and, tr and trunks growing. So it's coming along well. Okay guys, like hope you liked the video. Please like it and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. See you guys next time. Bye.